going on ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me on this absolutely gorgeous day hope you guys are doing well so far appreciate you coming out to the video so today I just got done with one of my first pretty cool job actually I'm trying to start my own little drone photography videography business kind of just do promotional videos and whatnot and uh, I got to do one for this beautiful golf course today so heading on home now about an hour ride home let's go god damn it I already got something in my eyeball ow out here in beautiful Blanchard Idaho heading back home to Spokane nice little ride home mostly highway but it is pretty you know what? There's a lot of reasons why I love to ride. But I was thinking about this the other day. I mean, you get better gas mileage, it's more relaxing, it's freeing, because you're out just with the elements, right? Riding. Oh, what happened here? But have you ever thought about it? That you can fart freely and nobody's ever going to smell it. You know, maybe. I've also thought, though, what if someone's behind you and you just let one rip and it like flies into their open window and they smell it that that would be the most hilarious thing pretty much ever or like are you crop dusting your friends that you're sitting in the front of the group ideal you know i can't think of a much better reason than that <clears throat> that people should get a motorcycle i'll tell you what since my last video i made is gas prices have actually started to go down. I heard earlier this year that gas prices, at, like, come the end of the summer, we're supposed to hit like $10 a gallon. So, I was pretty relieved to see that gas prices are actually starting to come down. Knock on wood, knock on metal, whatever. But, yeah, gas prices near and here in Idaho are like, some places 30, 40 cents cheaper than in Spokane and Washington. What's the gas prices where you guys are from? Just very curious. I don't know why it matters so much, but I just I just want to hear it. I just want to know. Oh, I remember one time I was riding on this road. And uh, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was a parade of motorcycles. Hundreds. I was going the opposite way of this. I think I'm headed south now. I was heading north. And uh, about 100 motorcycles passed me, like one after another. I held my hand out for a good two minutes straight just waving at motorcycles so I was like this is ridiculous my arm is tired but pretty bad personally I've been riding long enough I don't really care to go on group rides anymore they kind of bore me I don't know I feel like at this point in my life I just want if I want to go out and ride I don't want to be bothered I just want to go do my thing and riding with others not that like it's a burden to go ride with other people but I like riding with myself or people that are a similar skill level or have the same mindset. I don't want to go out and ride with a bunch of guys who are going to go run from cops, do wheelies on every every freaking chance they can. Like, don't get me wrong, I wheelie too, but I try to do it safely, away from other people, you know, stuff like that. I know, so group rides to me, they're just not very fun. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't like watching that, so, man, look how pretty it is out here. Pacific Northwest, man. We got it. We got everything here. 
Hey, I need some. I need some help. I'm looking for. I'm looking for a new jacket. I like this jacket. Don't get me wrong, but I want something a little bit lighter for the summertime. Like maybe like a pullover sweatshirt that's armored in the the elbows, the back, shoulders, stuff like that. But I'm looking for something a little more light. If you guys give me some give me some recommendations, that'd be very helpful. All right, let's see what premium is here. 469 though, baby. That's that's the lowest I've seen in a while. That's the lowest I've seen in a long while. That'll work. All right, let's take a look. Oh, 504. That's not too bad. That'll do. Back on the road. Let's see what what we get for gas mileage. Eh, almost 50 miles a gallon. That's pretty good. We're back on the road now, and uh, in all seriousness, no more talking about farting. I have a serious problem with this bike. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had this issue, but my front rotors are thrashed. I mean, let me just break for you real quick. Let me show you. My whole front end shakes. I can feel my grips literally shaking. Every time I pull the brake, it pulsates. My rotors are so freaking warped. It's so scary. When I go to slow down at a turn or whatnot or at a stoplight, they pulsate so much that sometimes I'll pull it and it, uh, there won't be no brake, there will be no brake pretty much, and then it'll all of a sudden grab really quickly and it'll jolt me forward. So it's pretty dangerous, to say the least, and I have no idea why it's doing it. No idea. This started happening a few months ago and it is gradually, not gradually, it has substantially gotten worse. At high speeds it's not too bad, but at low speeds, yeah, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I need to get new rotors. I'm, I hope my wheel's not bent. I've never crashed this bike. Uh, nobody has crashed this bike. I don't know why it would be. So, uh, have you guys ever had that problem before? I have no idea why or what happened, but I think both of them, yeah, I can, you can't see it, but I can literally see my, my rotor pulsating back and forth like this on both sides. It is very visible if you guys have any uh recommendations or have an extra set laying around you want to send to me that'd be great because if before i spend you know a couple hundred dollars on a new set of rotors it'd be great if i actually knew it was the rotor's fault and it wasn't the whole wheel's fault you know so if i buy a new set and they warp really quickly i'm gonna be pissed why is both of them warping i've ridden bikes my whole life i have never seen it happen before I really don't think it's because I over brake. I've gotten, I've heated the brakes up too much. I don't think that's the problem, but I don't know. I've never had brakes, brakes warp like this, but they're, they're pretty bad and they're just getting worse. I appreciate this guy staying over to the right so I can pass. That's, that's good courtesy. I appreciate that very much. We need more drivers like that rather than drivers trying to run me off the road. That'd be, that'd be sick. Yeah. So look at this, it's slow speeds. so bad literally trying to buck me off look at this nobody behind me watch this break whole front end shaking and it just gets worse at low speed
see you guys when we get close to home. All right, boys. I'm back in the valley now. That was a nice, that was a nice calming ride. That's relax a little bit. Listen, jam out to some music and just chill. I need some uh, recommendations about these brakes. These brakes are really bad. So if you have any recommendations, leave them in the description down below. I thank you for coming out. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you have not already, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.